Hello and welcome to Divergent Reactions. I'm Neurodiversity, Neurodivergent father to two Neurodivergent kids. So if you want to know a little bit more about what that means, you can check out my personal socials up there. But for now, we're on Divergent Reactions. And on this channel, we react to all sorts of videos from all over the globe, music, sports, comedy, and we're going to try and do it in a little bit of a different way. If it's not the video that's different, it might be what I'm looking into in the video. So it's early days, but we're getting there. I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody so far who's watched the videos and subscribed. At the time that I'm recording this, we're nearly on 50,000 views. We've got nearly 500 subscribers as well. It's absolutely incredible. I am blown away by how many people are enjoying my reaction videos. And the, the, this is the reason I do this, to share the experience with you guys. So thank you very much. If you like what you're seeing so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so you know when the next video is going to go up. And I'm going to get stuck into this one. Now, this is probably my most requested song in the <clears throat> excuse me in the j rock j metal kind of genre for what i've seen on my other videos it's domination by bandmade and specifically the live video a lot of you guys have requested that i watch the live video rather than the official video so i've not seen any bandmade live i'm gonna watch this and i know no doubt i'm gonna get blown away so this is also my first introduction to this song as well so without further ado i'm just gonna get stuck in and enjoy this because from what I've heard so far they're incredible. I like a little rasp in the voice there. I was going to comment on something else and then that rasp happened. That was really nice, that little, that little, just before, that doesn't sound like that. That sounded like Jar Jar Binks or something else. That was, um, <laughs> this is brilliant. This is incredible. This is awesome. I knew I'd like it. When you guys suggested this, I knew I'd like it straight away because you've all got excellent taste. This is incredible. Um, I am going to go back to the start and enjoy it again um, and just soak it in. I'm soaking it up. I'm enjoying it. There was a little thing I noticed. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was the, it was the. Um, it reminds me of in the Unleash video that I watched. It there's the dan dan didi dan dan bit, and they do that little off offbeat thing with the vocal there as well. I'll point it out when I go back. But yeah, incredible, incredible. I love it so far. Brilliant. It's a nice riff as well. It's I like that. I love that. Right. There's so much. This. 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 There's actually like. Uh, it's very simple. There's a lot for me. I've got loads I want to say, but I don't want to bore you too much. So I'll keep it short. But what I noticed about that chorus, and you don't you don't see this very often, is. It's not actually very melodic. It's like very monotonous. And I know there's other bits. There's like it, it, I think I think that gives the hello 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 bit a little bit extra because you've got this monotonous chorus like all what relatively one or two notes. And they got the hello hello da, 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 that bit kind of like it accentuates it a little bit. Also, the other thing I noticed was the guitar part is technically more melodic than the chorus than the melody in the chorus. Because if you listen to that lead guitar, it's it's sort of moving through the different. 
it's as I say it's not a melody as such, but it's moving through the it's picking out notes. And normally it's the other way around. Normally the guitar part would sit back a bit in the chorus and you'd have a more melodic chorus. So I really like that, so it's a nice touch. Um, you'll hate on this part now. Play the back. It's moving up and down the neck. It's kind of like a dun, 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 It's that kind of thing going on in the guitar. Um, if you listen to it closely enough, you'll pick it out. But her belly's just going. Her melody's just going. It's like when the guitar's moving up and down. It's. It's. I love it. I'll go. I'm gonna go back and watch it again. Watch the guitar. I'm pointing at the screen. Can't see it. Hang on. Sorry, I know I'm focusing on this bit, but I, 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 I'm really into this, and this is the whole point of a reaction video. So I know there was a bit of discussion on one of my other videos about whether I should talk over stuff, not talk over stuff, and somebody gave me the inspiration to just go, do you know what? I'm just going to react because that's the whole point of it, otherwise I'm thinking too much. But you can see my little cursor here. That's the best I'm going to get it. Watch. I don't know. I need to learn their names. The guitarist on the right. So if anybody's not particularly musical, if you watch what she's doing with uh, the hand, it's moving up and down the neck a lot, and you can see that. And I love that. I love in terms of like picking out like where the melody's not melodic, the melody, the, the vocal's not melodic. You you'll be able to watch if you watch on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Moving up and down. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, this is like this is like a thrash bit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the thrash bit either. I'm gonna go back to the middle. Where's the where's the bit? I was. I just I, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Also, the lyrics. Um, my path is hindered. The situation changes. Close to the edge is just right for me. Being on the edge, like keeping you going. It's it's oh, it's so so good. It's a very uplifting, empowering song. I love it. I absolutely love it. Hesitation is the greatest thing. It's like a it's like a half off beat and a call and response at the same time. It's like a boom bam boom bam boom bam. There's a song I'm thinking of that does that. I don't know what it is. Is it a Rage Against the Machine song? Drop a comment so let me know if you think what it is. It's like it goes bum bum, dun, 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 dun. Like, or Beastie Boys, maybe Sabotage. Sabotage? Sabotage Beastie Boys, I think it is. The, yeah, the, the weird guitar solo, but not a guitar solo in Sabotage. That's the sort of thing I'm getting from it. Yeah, it is, because it goes bum bum bam, 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 kind of thing. Anyway, not like that, but you get the point. Flash bit.
up right now. Somebody commented on this on one of my other videos about um, our bass player holds the pick in her fingers when she does the slap bass. Um, I can see it now. I, I can see it now on here. I know what you mean now. Yeah, it's, it's, I was saying it's notoriously difficult to do. To hold... How, how would you... I suppose you could you could move it in your fingers quite easily. But yeah, that's that's awesome. And also that, that bass line is really cool. Um, I said this on other videos. I like to see the little bar here that tells me where people are skipping to. So I know which bits are getting most viewed. It means there's something good. This means there's something good coming up. I'm expecting something to explode here. I'm looking forward to it. Let's have a look. Let's go back. Bass solo. Right, before this bit kicks in, I've got to go. I've got to go back and watch that. But it's a shame, actually. I like. I was watching obviously the lead guitar, but I wanted to watch the bass riff. I was like, the, to like, to me, the cam. I'll be honest. To me, the camera was on the wrong player. Then it should have been on the bass player for most of that, and it wasn't. It went onto the guitarist, and it was a bit of like a, in a good way. It complements the complicated bass line really well. But I felt like it should have panned back to the bass player because that that that's insane. That bass solo, the mixture of the chords and the. Bass. That's that. Oh, that's like a groove. Very, very good. That was awesome. I love that bit. I would. I wanted to point out a little bit near the end, where you can tell that the, a voice um, breaks a little bit. It's like there's a thing. I've seen it happen a couple of times. Like, I mean, it, well, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Musicians are really passionate and into the headspace with when you're playing live. But there's like, I get why this one's been requested so much because you can just tell when a band is on it and they nail it. And it's like a perfect 10 thing. It's like in sports, it'd be people holding 10s up, judges and stuff. One of those moments and a voice near the end breaks a little bit. And you can hear that she's just like at the end of the song going, yes, I made it. It's great. This is awesome. Like before she says great. 
Um, also, that breakdown is insanely good. Insanely good. I can I get this bit now. I get why people want to watch that bit because it was so on point. It was so on point, and I love the fact that I've said it before. I love the fact that it's even though that baseline is really complicated. It's the the band aren't fighting against each other, and it's one of my pet hates about metal. And I love metal music, but one of my pet hates is that it it's and it's hard. It's hard to do. To be fair, is to get all the instruments sounding good. Like I, I, there's a reason. There's a reason that good metal bands who are big, like Band Made and and your traditional metal bands, there's a reason that they are big. It's because the band knows when to play and when not to play. So if anybody is watching this and you are a bit younger and starting out a band or whatever, don't try and be that bedroom player that has to be the best and the quickest and the fastest because you've got to know when to not play as well. And that's more, sometimes knowing when not to play is more important than when to play. And the fact that the guitarists do that really simple, even though it's fast picking, really simple melody over the bass, it complements it really well. And I think that's key is not to overcomplicate it and it's beautiful. Um, I was going to go and find that little bit where the voice, like, she stopped singing a little bit and sort of the melody went uh, near the end. Somewhere around here. It's like a yeah. It's like you can tell just the end of the song just couldn't like in terms of a I say professionalism. I use that word in terms of you can tell throughout the whole song she made a real effort to stick to the melody and stick to the vocal performance, and then that bit of emotion creeps at the end and let's go. It's, it's great. I love it. It's not a criticism. I love it. It's great to see it because it shows the passion and the fact that like it tells you how the how the performance performing. And that's the best thing about live, and you don't get that on a recording necessarily. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching again another video with Divergent Reactions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notify, and I'll see you next time for more awesome videos. Drop your comments. Let me know what else I should be reacting to. I've got a huge wait list now, a uh, watch list of songs that are waiting to be reacted to, but I want to add more to it. So, yeah, thank you so much, and keep watching. Thank you.